Space may be the final frontier, but there's a good chance you've already got some space age technology in your home right now. Maybe even in your pockets. In fact, maybe it is your pocket. The space program is kind of like the people's space lab. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you the rundown on some amazing NASA inventions that have trickled down to us, us normies. Better tires for your car. For the Viking mission, Goodyear developed a material five times stronger than steel for the parachute system so the probe could land safely on a Martian surface. They put the same technology into their radial tires and now we have tires that last up to 10 thousand more miles making sure your car stays on the road you know me i like to keep things groovy cutting grooves in road pavement increases traction prevents skidding and sliding on curves in rainy weather this technique was first developed by nasa's langley research center in order to reduce aircraft accidents on wet runways smoke detectors NASA designed the first adjustable smoke detector for astronauts during the Sky Lab mission, which was a part of the U.S. Space Station. Fireproof paint. A part of the Apollo space capsule's heat shield was designed to burn off, forming a protective coating to block heat penetration. This same technology can be found in products like Pyroclad, a coating which expands in volume when exposed to heat. This tough and stable insulating layer provides up to four hours of fire protection. Keeping your grill pretty with invisible braces. Invisible braces have only become possible because they're as strong as their classic metal counterparts. That strength comes from a material called translucent polycrystalline alumina created by NASA Advanced Ceramics Research to protect the infrared antenna of heat-seeking missile trackers. <laughs> infrared thermometers. Cause NASA was tired of reading the temperature of Uranus. <laughs> Used to detect fevers and asparagus from the dreaded rectal thermometer technology of years prior. Infrared thermometers were invented by using infrared astronomy technology to measure the amount of energy emitted by the eardrum. This method is not only much more humane, but also prevents infections better as well. The most comfortable material ever, memory foam. Before you were drooling on that super sweet tempur mattress, the same foam was protecting astronauts from incredible G-forces encountered during liftoff and landing. Memory foam was developed at the Ames Research Center and has found its way into all kinds of products, including mattresses, pillows, cars, motorcycles, sports safety equipment, amusement park rides and arenas, horseback saddles, archery targets, and super comfortable furniture. Artificial limbs. Unless you lost your hand in a lightsaber battle with your cyborg dad, chances are your replacement limb isn't gonna be just like the original. But that's changing thanks to aerospace innovations in robotics, artificial muscle systems, and custom modable materials like memory foam. In addition to making the limbs more powerful, these advances also improve comfort by preventing friction between the skin and the artificial limbs. Energy! <laughs> Energy! Saving solar panels. Until recently, solar panels were too expensive and did not create enough energy to compete with fossil fuels. However, thanks to NASA's Environmental Research Aircraft and Sensor Technology Program, we now have solar panels that are cheap, efficient, and lightweight. These panels were necessary to build ultra-lightweight solar-powered drones for upper atmospheric science missions, and now we get those same panels at a fraction of the cost. Keeping the noobs alive with enriched baby formula. Baby formula was no match for mother's milk until NASA got involved. The missing ingredient, DHA, an omega-3 fatty acid crucial to infants' mental and visual development. It was NASA's sponsored research that explored the potential of using algae as a recycling agent for long-duration space travel. They discovered a strain of algae that produces DHA naturally and in high enough quantities to be extracted as a nutrient, which is now found in baby formula. Keeping criminals off the streets with video enhancing. Back up. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Can you enhance the image from here? Can you enhance him right here? Can you enhance it? Can you enhance it? Can we enhance this? Or can you enhance it? Hold on a second, I'll enhance. Every cop show on television should thank NASA for video imaging stabilization and registration or 
Bizarre for short. Before it was used by the FBI and other law enforcement agencies, it was used by NASA for cleaning up blurry nighttime video images. Vizar has also adopted to serve the military for reconnaissance missions, weapons deployment, and even medical imaging. The Dust Buster. Because eating Doritos in outer space can be really messy. Okay, not exactly the case here. For the Apollo space mission, NASA required a portable self-contained drill capable of extracting core samples from below the lunar surface. Black & Decker was tasked with the job and developed a computer program to optimize the design of the drill's motor and ensure minimal power consumption. That computer program led to the development of a cordless miniature vacuum cleaner, otherwise known as the Dust Buster, keeping us alive with heart-saving devices. NASA helped develop a life-saving heart pump for patients awaiting heart transplants. The Ventricular Assist Device, or BAD for short, functions as a bridge to heart transplant by pumping blood through the body in order to keep patients alive until a donor heart is available. This device can operate up to eight continuous hours while giving patients the ability to live normal lives and do normal everyday activities. Keeping us alive with land mine removal. Rocket fuel can be used for more than just rockets. This ingenious demining device uses a high intensity flare powered by rocket fuel to ignite and burn unexploded landmines without having them blow up. Improved mine safety, different kind of mine. An ultrasonic monitor developed by a NASA scientist for testing tension on bolts and fasteners has found its way into factories and mines. These monitors keep workers safe by giving them crucial information on metal fatigue, groundwater levels, radiation, and other information like things like railroad ties and building foundations. Axing toxic relationships with chemical detection. NASA loves to monitor everything. In order to collect as much data as possible on missions, NASA developed moisture and pH sensors. These sensors were built to warn crew members of potentially dangerous corrosive conditions in aircrafts before significant damage occurs. This new type of sensor using a special optic fiber changes color when in contact with its target. Here on Earth, they're used to detect chemical weapons in toxic industrial compounds. Edibles, not those type of edibles. Freeze dried food. In planning for the long duration Apollo missions, NASA conducted extensive research into space food. NASA focused on freeze drying, which is when foods are cooked, flash frozen, and then slowly heated in a vacuum to remove the ice crystals. The final product retains 98% of its nutrition and only weighs 20% of its original weight. The result for us Earthlings is some pretty tasty food options for camping, hiking, and other situations where you only have water. But let's be real, astronaut ice cream, weirdest texture ever. And probably the coolest thing ever invented from NASA. Preventing the Rhea with food safety. Feeding astronauts in zero gravity can get pretty weird. As the space program ramped up, NASA worked with Pillsbury, not the Pillsbury Doughboy, although the Pillsbury Doughboy in outer space would be pretty cool. NASA worked with Pillsbury to address two problems, foodborne illness and the more pressing issue, crumbs. While scientists figured out the crumbs issue pretty easily with bags, pouches, and tubes, Pillsbury, I keep thinking of the Pillsbury Doughboy. Pillsbury, <laughs> Pillsbury developed the hazard analysis and critical control point for the other problem. This new system is a safety protocol designed to prevent food poisoning before it happens. The US Food and Drug Administration now has applied the HACCP guidelines for handling of seafood, juice, and dairy products. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Which means no puking after bad milk and sea bass. Kick ass kicks with performance shoe insoles. Can't talk about NASA without talking about foam. They just like love it over there. For the moon landing, Apollo engineers invented a new polyurethane foam fabric for the astronauts' boots. It gave them extra spring while providing ventilation. And that same technology found its way in almost every sneaker made since. Air Jordans? <laughs> what about Air Armstrongs? Giving Mother Nature a vacuum by crushing pollution. 
The PRP, or Petroleum Remediation Product, has revolutionized the way oil spills are cleaned. And of course, it's NASA tech. Duh. The basic idea behind PRP is using thousands of tiny balls of beeswax with hollow centers to clean up oil spills. Here's how it works. Water cannot penetrate the microcapsule cell, but oil is absorbed right into the beeswax spheres as they float in the water's surface. Damaging chemical compounds from the crude oil are soaked up before they can wreck fragile ecosystems. All of the birds, all of the turtles, all of the fish, they're NASA fans too. Making our water drinkable with water purification. And while we're talking about water, NASA has done everything from making their own water by combining hydrogen and oxygen to recycling what they've already made or already drank. And the only thing I can do is to drink my own pee. Yes, by combining the benefits of chemical absorption, distillation, and ultrafiltration, you too can sip your own urine. In a more applicable scenario, unless you really want to drink your own pee, this technology is super crucial to disaster relief efforts and in places where water is scarce or unhealthy to drink. Making us see better with LED lighting. High intensity LED, which stands for light emitting diodes, was originally developed for the NASA space shuttles. These lights use tiny amounts of power, but are ultra bright. And now they're in everything from car headlights, Christmas lights, to cell phones. Giving us better eyeballs. Imaging processing techniques used in NASA equipment like the Hubble telescope are now being used to detect eye problems. What used to take an optometrist close to an hour can now be done with a machine called an auto refractor in a couple minutes. Scratch resistant everything. NASA needed a special coating to protect space equipment from dirt found in space, so they came up with their own special plastics coating. Now we're enjoying the same technology in sunglasses that are resistant to scratches. The Internet of Things to help you get the things of the internet. Embedded Web Technology, or EWT, software lets a user monitor and or control a device remotely over the internet. You're probably already seeing this kind of stuff all the time with like connected thermostats, sprinklers, and dog monitors. But it was originally developed so astronauts running experiments on the International Space Station lab could monitor progress from any of the onboard laptops. It's flashy, it's fab, it's Mylar. Not to be confused with My Little Pony. You see Mylar all the time. It's what makes up those never bursting silver birthday balloons, the outer covering of toaster pastries, and blankets for marathon runners. Mylar is a special polyester film that has been metalized, making it ultra thin, ultra strong, and because it reflects radiation and heat, it is just perfect for space travel. Mylar was designed for a NASA balloon satellite experiment called Project Echo. Echo. Echo, echo, that'd be a weird echo. If it came back to you, like, that, that'd be really weird. Letting you have snap geofilters with satellites. Stemming directly from NASA missions, we have satellites. And without the 200 or so communication satellites orbiting the Earth every day, it would take a long time for you to watch this Nicopedia video. Also, a crap ton of our daily life is only made possible because of satellite technology. Satellites dramatically help us with weather forecasts, fire detection, oil exploration, and of course, Sending selfies. My favorite daily activity. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button, and I wanna know, what you guys think about all of these inventions? Which one blew your mind the most, and which one do you, do you normally use, like on your day-to-day -day basis, that you didn't think came from NASA? And hit that subscribe button, because we have videos just like this coming out every week, and we wanna make sure you never miss a single thing. And I'll see you really soon.